So welcome yogis. My name is Noelle. This is a slower practice of yin yoga where we hold postures for a really long time. Um, just take it at your own pace like every class. Your breath is the most important part. If things start to hurt, like sharp shooting pains, pins and needles, numbness, anything like that, be sure to come out of the pose and then gently re-enter. Those are warning signs from your nerves that they're in a compromised, unhappy position and we don't want them there, especially when we're holding poses for two, three, four, five minutes at a time. If you don't already, grab some pillows. I have three pillows today for a more advanced practice. Um, have at least two pillows, you might only just need one. And then also have a blanket nearby as well. Today we're going to be opening the chest, specifically the front of the chest. This is really good for anyone who finds themselves sitting and slouching, rolling the shoulders forward, kind of humping the spine, letting the belly fall loose. This will help lift the front of the chest and broaden this area through the collarbones, pulling the shoulders back, and it's not a miracle. It's not gonna completely change your posture overnight. But if you do these things every day, every morning, every evening, after time you will see some change in your body just simply because of muscle memory um, and the way our body and our fascia and our muscles start to remember certain postures and just your mental awareness as well. You won't be here, you'll be like, oh shoot, I'm slouching, let me sit up and it won't hurt as bad having those muscles and that memory. So take your blanket and put it off to the side. Grab your pillows and have them nearby, setting them next to your hip. Come to lie on your back, letting the big toes flop out. Hands face up, tuck the chin to the chest and squeeze the shoulders down the back. Now yogis, get all your little wiggles and moves out of your body. Tuck the tailbone, elongate the spine. Take a big inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Let everything sink into the mat. Continue to exhale as you seal the lips. Relax the body. Make sure you're not clenching the jaw. Wiggle the jaw around side to side. And continue to breathe deep in and out of the nose. Let your tongue fall away from the roof of the mouth. Swallow once. The fingertips are naturally curling into the hand palms. The back of the hands, elbows, shoulders, low back sit bones all the way down the legs into the heels, even through the sides of the feet down to the tippy toe. You find that connection to the mat and everything just sinks and finds a sense of heaviness as you bring a more awareness to the physical body. During these first few moments of stillness in your physical body, Take a moment to notice where the mind has gone. The thoughts, feelings, emotions, memories, everything that pops into the head. Where does the mind like to travel when the body is in stillness? Now beginning to let all of those thoughts go, clear the mind. Imagine like you're wiping everything off of a dry erase board, coming to a brand new clean slate. Noticing when a thought comes into the mind, but not letting it hold attachment, not running with the idea of the thought, but just letting it go. Allowing the body to be heavy and focusing on your breath. Find your inhale 
and an equal exhale to match your inhale. Yogis, use your breath as a tool to stay grounded into this moment, to stay centered. As your body stays grounded and centered, you'll notice this sense of ease and contentment, a heaviness. Use this heaviness to push past tension in the physical body and tension in the mind. Begin to take three more deep breaths here, enjoying the stillness and the peace through the inhale and the exhale, deepening each breath. Inhale through your nose. Continue to inhale. Inhale to the lowest part of your belly. Take one more sip. Open your mouth. Slightly sigh it out. Soft sigh. Avoid gasping. Continue to exhale here. Push all the air out of your lungs. That last little bit of your exhale. Squeeze it out of your belly. Seal your lips and continue to inhale and exhale through the nose once again. Find your complete breath in and out, that equal, rhythmic, smooth breath. Keep your eyes closed. Gently begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Small movements into the physical body to let your nervous system, you're ready to move, then blink your eyes open. Inhale, reach your hands overhead. Exhale, zip your legs together. Big good morning stretch. Lift your rib cage, rock side to side. Continue to breathe. Come back to center. Relax the belly. Flex the feet. Get really long through the whole body. Press your lower back down. Take a big breath in. Exhale, point your toes. Reach a little longer. Relax the toes, relax the arms. Keep your left leg long. Bend your right leg, right knee into your chest. Interlace your hands. Notice which thumb is on top. Hands around the shins. Wiggle the sit bones around until the back is flat against the mat. And then take your right hand, make an L shape. Thumb goes into the crease of the hip. Give it a little push, square off the hips, and then bring the hand back to the shin. Both feet are flexed, shoulders down, chin to the chest. Take a deep breath in through your nose. On your exhale, pull the thigh into the belly, squeeze. Equal weight into the shoulders. Press both heels forward. Take one pillow and bring it next to the left hip. Left hand finds the right knee. Bend the right arm, cactus it like a goalpost. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, right leg comes all the way over to the left side, landing on the pillow. Your, left, or your right shoulder stays down to the mat. There's no space between the right shoulder blade and the mat. The hip is coming up and over the body. The knee, shin, and ankle is comfortably resting on the pillow. Cactus the left arm. Gaze to the right. Maybe close your eyes and connect to your breath. Yogis, take a moment, notice where you're holding tension. 
Wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes. Unclench the glutes. Soften the booty. Pull the right shoulder down. Unclench the jaw. Take a moment to deepen the breath, to reconnect to the body, reconnect to yourself. Yogis begin to take your last three deep breaths here. <laughs> Inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, cleansing breath, HA. <sighs> On your inhale, gaze at the ceiling. Wiggle your fingers, reach them overhead. Exhale, hands to the leg, bring the leg back to center. Hands slide behind the thigh and circle the ankle. Go the opposite direction. Relax your right leg, send it down your mat to meet the left, flex the feet, Stretch them both, reset the spine. Maybe give the arms a little stretch, roll out the wrists. Keep the right leg long, left leg into the belly. Interlace the fingers, but notice which thumb is on top, go the opposite direction, the awkward feeling grip. Hands find the shin. Once the hands find the shin, release the left hand first, make your L. Thumb to the hip crease, push it down, and it squares off the hips. Reconnect the left hand, shoulders into the mat. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, bend your elbows and pull the belly onto the thigh, straight down and in. Take another big inhale. Grab the pillow. Move it onto the right side, right next to the hip. Right hand finds the left knee, bend the left arm, place it onto the mat like a goal post. Another inhale, center to prepare. On the exhale, left leg finds the right side landing on the pillow. Double check your left shoulder blade is still onto the mat. Make sure nothing can slide under your back body. Then set the right arm down, gaze to the left. Find your breath.
yogis, begin to take your last three deep breaths on this side. Use these last three breaths as an opportunity to go deeper into the posture. Inhale through the nose, deep into the lower part of your belly. Open mouth, exhale, sigh it out, let it go. Inhale, look up. Reach the hands overhead. Hands come down to the leg, exhale, leg back to center. Hands behind the thigh, circle the ankle. Other way. Release the hands, leg goes long. Inhale, hands come overhead, little stretch, point the toes. Relax the chest, hands by your hips, press into the forearms to slightly lift yourself up. Grab your pillows and bring them nearby. Start with one pillow. If you have um, one pillow that's bigger than the other or longer than the other, take that one first. You'll sit up nice and tall. Bring the pillow all the way down until it touches your lower back. Hands come behind you, lower back onto the forearms, toes flop out, and the chest lies over your pillow. Take a few breaths here. Notice how it feels just with one pillow, the idea of your chest opening, the shoulder points falling away from you, your shoulder blades slightly squeezing together behind the back. The legs are rotating out, this external rotation into the legs and hips. Yogis, if you would like a deeper sensation, turn your palms down, press into the elbows, forearms, lift yourself up. Take your second pillow, stack it on top of your first pillow, again all the way until it hits your back. Hands behind you. Lower yourself down nice and slow until the elbows hit. Then when the elbows hit, you know you're secure. Close your eyes, tuck the chin to your chest, palms face up. Yogis, feel free to stop at one pillow. Feel free to stop at two pillows. If you would like to go a little deeper, take a deep breath in through your nose. A deep exhale to match. Turn your palms to face down. Press into the elbows, forearms, and palms. Lift yourself up. Grab your third pillow. Stack it on top of your second pillow. All the way until it reaches your back. Hands behind the hips. And you'll lower yourself down. Stay where you are in this supported fish pose, but squeeze your right shoulder blade under your back. And then take a moment, squeeze the left shoulder blade under your back. And then pull the shoulders down the spine, away from your neck. Tuck the chin into your chest and elongate your cervical spine. Then relax the elbows, relax the hands, Relax the jaw, wiggle the toes, 
Give them a little stretch and then relax the legs. Start to take your last three deep breaths, allowing the shoulders to fall down this waterfall effect across the chest. Inhale through your nose, fill up the belly, take one more sip of air in. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Sink the chest and the shoulders down into the props. Turn your hand palms to face down. Start with the chin coming into the chest. Lift the back of the head. Slide the hands under your shoulders to lift yourself up. Cross the ankles. Crisscross applesauce, take one pillow Bring it in front of you and slide the other two pillows to the side. Find hands and knees as a transition. Walk the knees back so your body comes to the middle of the mat. Open your knees nice and wide. Untuck the toes, big toes touch. Slide the pillow between your thighs. Lower the seat down to the feet. Walk the hands forward, belly rests on top of the pillow, forehead down to the mat. If the forehead doesn't reach or if it feels comfortable to add a second pillow to support the head or rest of the uh, torso, if you have a longer torso, please add a second pillow. Three more deep breaths in your child's pose. Curl the fingertips forward, drop the belly into the prop.
inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, crawl forward. Sink it down, let it go. On your next inhale, walk the hands back to the knees. Lift yourself up. Take the pillow, slide it out for one moment. Swing the legs in front of your body. Crisscross your legs to start. Um, this is kind of our neutral position. If you feel good here, option to straighten your legs and you'll zip them together. So straight legs or crisscross applesauce if this becomes too hard. Bring your hands behind your body and walk the pinkies to touch. So bring them as close as you need to until you can walk the pinkies to touch and the pinkies, the insides of the hands are touching while the palms press against the mat. The thumbs will want to curl up and in as best as you can, spread all 10 fingers wide, including the thumbs and press the hands flat against the mat. Now gaze forward either at the edge of your mat or at your toes. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift the front of your chest. Keep the chin in a neutral position so you're looking straight ahead. Imagine there's a string right in the center of your sternum. And someone's pulling the string higher and higher to the ceiling. Every inhale, you feel the chest lift. The shoulders come a little closer together and the sit bones are nice and comfy into the mat. Make sure you're wiggling the toes, rolling out the ankles. If you're crisscross applesauce or legs straight. Now, if you'd like to go a little deeper from here, bring the hands further away from your body Keep the pinkies touching. That's the key. Pinkies touching, thumbs flat. Squeeze the shoulders, lift the chest, press into the hand palms to get a little more lift and pull up from the sternum. Remember yogis, this lift is coming from the front of your chest, not the lower back. Keep the chin in a neutral position. Take three more deep breaths, squeeze the shoulders, maybe walk the hands a little further away from the body, as long as the pinkies are touching the insides of the pinkies. Inhale through your nose, open mouth, exhale, if your hands are away from your body, start by bending into the elbows and slide the hands back towards the hips. Release the hands from the mat and shake them out. If your legs are straight, crisscross applesauce, yogis, everyone meet here at the center of your mat. Notice which ankles on top. Hands in front of your body, lift your chest, inhale, gaze forward. On your exhale, start to crawl forward, round the spine. If the sit bones begin to lift, pull the booty back down, make sure the thighs and the glutes stay connected to the mat. If you're close to the mat, but your belly or your head doesn't quite reach, remember your props, take pillows, and use the pillows to bring the mat to you until the belly, the forehead, arms, and sit bones are connected down. Just a quick counter stretch, take a big breath in. Exhale, sink down a little deeper. Inhale, walk yourself up. 
Switch your legs the other way. Place the opposite ankle on top. Reset your props. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, crawl forward. Three breaths. Last breath here, yogis, big breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Inhale, crawl yourself up. Set your pillows off to the side. Take your blanket, unfold your blanket so you have a little cushion in front of your body. Place the hands on the blanket, send your legs behind you, tabletop position. From your tabletop, knees under hips, hands under shoulders, drop your belly, lift the chest, inhale, circle your body to the right, exhale, lift your chest to the sky. Inhale, drop it down, circle left. Exhale, circle right, lift the back of your body. Continue to circle like this, big breaths in and out as you drop and lift the spine. Go the opposite direction. Last breath. Come back to your tabletop, come back to center. Find the place where your hips are right over the knees. This straight line perpendicular to the ground. Lower onto your forearms. Give yourself a high five. Open your elbows a little wider and lower the chest down, elbows wide. Press into your hands, forehead to the mat. Hips are directly over the knees. Let the chest fall down with every exhale. Feel your hands pressing into each other as the elbows slide further apart. Slide the shoulders down the back away from your neck. Yogi's last three here. Elbows wide. Pressing your palms into each other. Inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Go down one more centimeter. Release the hands, press the hands down, slightly lift the chest, draw the elbows back in. Elbows directly under your shoulders now. You have a narrow 11. Hands come back to give yourself a high five. Drop the forehead down, but now Yogi, slide your elbows forward until the arms are straight and the forehead touches the mat. Once the arms are straight, re-bend the arms. Your thumb comes to the back of the neck. Squeeze the elbows into the head and allow the head to slide forward with the elbows to drop the chest. Hips still stay over the knees in this position. The elbows slide forward as the belly comes down. 
Control the breathing. Slide the shoulders down the back away from your neck to make that space. Last three breaths here. Inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, stay, go a little deeper. Inhale, reach the pinkies to the ground, extend the arms straight, palms touch down, slide the elbows back under your chest, lift yourself up onto your hands, rock side to side. Take your blanket, slide your blanket under your knees and come back to your tabletop. Inhale, your right hand reaches to the sky. Exhale, sit the hips back. Then thread the right arm under the left armpit. Stack the left arm over the right. Gaze to the left. If the head doesn't quite reach down, option to take a pillow. Then thread the shoulder down and the right ear comes to your pillow. If you have a gap between the hips and the heels, place a pillow under the hips. Three more here. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, H-A. <sighs> Press into your left hand. Reach the right arm out, maybe up. If it feels good, set the right arm down, adjust your pillow for the other side, lift the hips, shake the hips side to side for one moment. Bring the hips back down, inhale, left hand to the sky. Exhale, left arm threads in between the space, left shoulder down, left ear down, maybe to a pillow, maybe to the mat. Hips down to the heels, right fingertips to the mat to lift the shoulder and gaze up.
Yogi's last three deep breaths here. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, sink the belly, sink the hips, let it go. Press into the right hand. Reach the left hand out to the side, maybe overhead. Stretch it out. Bring the left hand down, lift the hips, and wag them side to side. Yogi, sit the hips back down. Stack your pillow off to the side. Take your blanket and move it to the top of the mat by the head. Swing the legs around the body and bring them in front of you. Lie down onto the back. Tuck the chin to the chest and move the blanket so it's just under the head, not the shoulders. The shoulders stay onto the mat. Right knee to the chest, left leg comes long. Coming to the twist that we did at the beginning of class, but start with no pillow, see how you're doing. Left hand to the right knee, inhale through the nose. Exhale, twist it out, right leg to the left side. Remember the important part is keeping the right shoulder down to the mat, gaze to the right. Yogis, if you feel good here, begin to wiggle your left toes. Bend into your left leg, kick the heel towards the glute. Take your right hand, reach down, right hand to the left foot. Use your right hand to pull the left foot behind the body, right shoulder down, and the right leg falls over the hip. Yogis, no matter where you are, take three more deep breaths. Whether you found the bind with the foot to the hand, or if your left leg is still straight, totally fine. Inhale through your nose. On your exhale, pull the right shoulder down. Get a little deeper into your twist. Yogis, we come out the same way we came in. If you do have a hold of the left foot, release the foot, straighten the leg. Bring the head back to center, inhale. Exhale, right leg to center. Right hand onto the right knee. Begin to take big knee circles on the right side. Go the opposite direction. Last breath. Come back to center. Right leg goes long. Flex the foot, left leg into the chest, inhale. On your exhale, left leg to the right side, twist. Just take a moment here, breathe into your twist. 
Maybe invite the pillow back into the under the knee if you like that variation. Double check with the left shoulder. Make sure it's down into the mat. Yogis, if you're ready to go a little deeper, totally optional. Begin to kick into your right foot. Remember, think of drawing the heel to the glute. Take your left hand, reach down, grab the foot, and use your arm to kind of swing the leg back just a little more. If your front leg is uncomfortable, option to place your left foot on the right thigh, and it'll help drop the knee down. Remember, the left shoulder stays onto the mat, gaze to the left. Yogis, we're on our last three inhales and exhales here in our twist. Big inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, soft sigh it out. <sighs> If you have the bind, release the right leg first. Inhale to the ceiling and then exhale. Slide the leg back to center. With your left hand, take big knee circles with your left leg. Circle it out, let it feel good. Go the opposite direction. Stay with your breath, your inhale and your exhale still are really important here. Yogis, come back to center. Hug your right knee into the chest. Zip your legs together and rock side to side. Knees touch if possible. Tuck the chin to your chest, shoulders down, left to right. Peace fingers to big toes, happy baby, just as a counter stretch. Heels find the groin, gaze down the midline of your body, inhale through your nose, exhale, open up your legs. It's like you can step on the ceiling, ankles stack over knees. If your low back is lifted, pull the low back down all the way until it's pressed flat against the mat. If the fingers aren't reaching the toes today, hands come to the outside of the thighs, feet stay in the same position. Last breath, inhale. Exhale. <sighs> Bend your legs, inhale. Exhale, zip your legs together. Yogis, take three deep breaths. Any last movement you need while I check the time. <laughs> Yogis, taking your last breath. Extend both legs long down your mat for your final resting pose. 
Letting your big toes flop out side to side. Hands face up by your hips. Squeeze the shoulders down the back. Tuck the chin to your chest. And give yourself a little wiggle, a little stretch. Notice how your lower back feels your upper back. And if you have any pinching, pulling or tension into your spine, bend your legs, place the feet onto the mat. Lift your lower back, tuck the tailbone, press the spine against the earth, and then let the knees knock in and touch. Palms face up by your hips. Tuck the chin to the chest. Once again, take a big breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, close your eyes, sigh it out. <sighs> Allow your shoulders to come back to this neutral position after a full practice of opening the front of the chest, squeezing the shoulder blades together. And as you squeeze the shoulder blades together, the sternum and the heart lifted. Take a moment to release any control onto your breath. Coming back to a smooth inhale and exhale. Relax your entire physical body into the mat. Releasing any urge to wiggle, to move, to fix any parts of the body. Just finding a sense of stillness. Coming back to a sense of grounding and a place of feeling centered. Turn your awareness onto the mind. Once again, acknowledging all the thoughts that popped into the head. Allowing yourself to come to a brand new clean slate each time. Not holding judgment, but just being super aware. A sense of loving kindness for yourself and others. Yogis, take these last few moments to yourself. Yogis, if you're ready to end your practice with me today, keep your eyes closed. Just begin to deepen your breath. Begin to thank yourself for showing up onto your mat. Thank yourself for taking time out of your schedule to honor your body through breath and movement. Remember, as long as you show up, try your very best, 
That's all that matters. Take a big inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, let go of anything that no longer serves you, anything that you're holding on to that you do not need anymore. Begin to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Blink your eyes open. Inhale, reach your hands overhead. Exhale, hug your knees into the chest. Give yourself a big squeeze. Roll onto one side. Find your fetal position. Pause, take a breath. Use your top hand, press yourself up. Sit crisscross applesauce, nice and tall. Look down to see what ankle's on top and then switch it for balance. Roll the shoulders back. Roll the shoulders forward. Hands to the knees, shoulders over hips, drop the chin to the chest, one big circle to the right. One big circle to the left. Come back to center, sit up tall. Inhale, reach your hands over head. Gather a fresh breath, exhale, draw it to your center. Take a final inhale, honor your body, your breath, and your spirit. Exhale, let it go. Yogis, once again, my name is Noelle. Thank you so much for allowing me to guide you through practice. It's truly my honor to be here with you. Drink tons of water as you finish your day. Until we meet again, namaste. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please refer them to my Instagram at yoga with Noelle.